Hey everyone, King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do an updated video showing you how to unroot or unbreak your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus, um, the latest method. So this will put you back to complete stock. I believe it will also wipe all your data, so keep that in mind um, when doing this. So if you need to take it back to stock or bring it back to Sprint for any reason, this is the best method on doing so. So what we're going to first need to do is you can just go ahead and actually power off your device. So go ahead and just power it on off. Um, next what we're going to need to do is click on the link in the description of the video. Doing so will take you to the AC Syndicate forums as you can see. What you're going to need to do is go ahead and scroll down. Shout out to Shabby Penguin and as well as the anonymous leak for getting AC Syndicate this file. So this is an exclusive ACS uh, file. But anyways, what we're going to first need to do is download a couple things. First of all, you're going to need to make sure you have the P, uh, the drivers installed on your PC. I will link to how to do that in the description of the video. So if you have not done that, just watch the video in the description and you will have your drivers. Next, we're going to need to download Odin. So go ahead and click on where it says the word Odin, actually right here. So click on this Odin word right here. So click on that. We're also going to need to download the stock tar file. So those are the two files we need um, Odin and stock tar once downloaded both of them what I recommend doing is go ahead and your go, go to your desktop actually let's go ahead and hop on your desktop and make a new folder go ahead and uh, say new folder go ahead and call it stock GNX or you can call it anything it doesn't really matter so we got this folder on our desktop now go into your downloads folder where you just downloaded those two files the uh, Odin along with your your tar file so Odin's right here it's a zip file double click on it and you'll see these two files inside of the zip now transfer both of those files into that stock GNX uh, folder basically what that's going to do is put Odin inside that folder and you're also gonna what I recommend doing actually is going back to your downloads folder and just transferring that tar file into that folder as well it's just easier to have everything all in one place so when you go inside that folder as you can see, you got all three files right here. So let's go ahead and get Odin set up now that we have all three files in one place. What we're going to need to do is, what I recommend doing is right clicking on Odin and going and hitting run as administrator. And then go ahead and hit yes when user account control pops on up. And then it should pop up Odin. So here we go. So this is Odin right here, the latest version of Odin. Um, Odin is used for Samsung devices to flash uh, different types of software. But anyways, what we're going to need to do now is get Odin set up. So right here on the right side, go ahead and press the PDA button right here. So press PDA and then it should open that stock GNX folder. If it doesn't, go to it and then double click on that tar file right here. So uh, you got the tar file in the PDA slot. Now uncheck F reset time right here and only have auto reboot checked. So have only auto reboot checked along with that uh, uh, tar file in the PDA slot of Odin with PDA button checked right there. And we are just about ready to go. So what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and go back to our phones actually to get it set up. So go ahead and grab your phone. And what we're gonna need to do is take it into Odin mode. So to do so, you press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. Of course, it's gotta be off. So press button, press and hold volume down and then let go once it vibrates. You'll feel it vibrate, you can just let go. And as you can see, it takes you into download mode or Odin mode, it's called either or. Um, like so, if for any reason you get into download mode and you just wanna reboot, just press the power button and that'll automatically reboot you. But once you're in download mode, we're gonna need to plug our phone into our PC. So go ahead and plug it on in, grab a cable. Um, if you do happen to have any issues with Odin um, at all, most likely it's due to the cable. So I highly recommend if you have any issues, try using a different cable, try using a different USB port, try reinstalling drivers. So those are, those are the top three things you need to try if Odin has any issues. As you can see, mine's installing device driver software on my PC, actually you can't see it, but it did. So it took a little bit of time, so make sure you let those install. And as you can see, once it's done installing, it'll bring up a yellow box here, it'll say COM and then a number. Uh, it doesn't matter what the number is, but just make sure there's a yellow box and it says COM here, that shows that Odin recognizes your device. And once again, auto reboot checked and the tar file in the PDA slot, we are ready to go. So go ahead and hit start. And once we hit start, it'll go ahead and run through. You'll see a little green box up here on the left that'll let you know what it's flashing to your phone. On your phone, I won't, don't know yet if it's gonna bring up a progress bar or not. I haven't done this yet. Oh yeah, it does. So as you can see, you got a little blue progress bar right over here that should fill up as uh, it progresses. 
But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let it do its thing a little more, and then once it gets close to being done, I will be back. All right, so it is just about done. As you can see, Radio CDMA is just finishing on up. I do believe that would be the last thing through the process, but uh, here we go. So it is, the progress bar is almost done as well. It should automatically reboot your phone once it's done actually. So it'll say uh, complete and then it should reboot your device. All right, so it had flashed the bootloader and then as you can see it said reset and then pass. Mine took three minutes and 50 seconds to run through. So in case you were wondering there, you'll see the padlock is still unlocked down there. So our bootloader is still unlocked. So we're not quite done yet because we need to relock our bootloader. But anyways, um, as you can see, it's rebooting. It's uh, back to complete stock almost, obviously, because our bootloader is unlocked. But the, the system is back to complete stock. But anyways, I'm going to let this boot up. It should take a little while longer than usual to boot up, but I'll be back once it's done. All right, so it's just booted up. Takes you to the welcome screen, of course. As I said, it's going to wipe all of your data, so make sure you are ready for that. I do not believe it will wipe internal storage, although I will check that now. It, actually, it might now that I think about it. I do believe uh, a friend of mine used Odin on their T-Mobile Galaxy Nexus or unlocked Galaxy Nexus, and it wiped the internal storage as well. So I'm going to go ahead and check that real quick, and I'll be back. All right, so I just went ahead and checked, and yes, it does wipe your internal storage as well, so you're gonna need to make sure you back that up. I'll probably make an annotation or a note somewhere in the description letting you guys know that it'll wipe all data and internal storage, so make sure you back everything up to your PC on your internal storage. So that's very unfortunate that it does that, but it is what it is. So um, let's go ahead and go into settings really quickly, and as you can see, go to About Phone and Android version 4.0.4, Build number L700 FC12, which is the latest stock build for the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. So there we go, but as I said, we are not done yet, um, actually. What we're gonna need to do is go into settings, and then go ahead and go to developer options, and then up at the top, we're gonna need to check USB debugging, and hit OK. Um, so also make sure USB debugging is checked and then if you have not you're going to need to make sure you set up the Android SDK tools on your PC. I will link to a video on how to do so in the description. So make sure you have that on your PC first and then we are actually just about ready to go. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead and go back to our PC. And once back, um, go ahead and hit the start button and just type CMD in in the search bar and hit enter. It'll actually open up a command prompt like so. All right, and once we have our command prompt open, we're actually going to need to go to our phone and we're going to need to power it off once more. Um, the reason being because we need to get into fast boot mode. So to do so, what we're going to need to do is press and hold volume up and volume down at the same time. Whoops, sorry about that. I almost dropped my uh, Nexus. So volume up and volume down and power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them. And as you can see, it takes me into fast boot mode. So that's all you need to do. Just leave it on this page and go ahead and plug your phone into your PC. Um, so plug it on in. And as you can see, plug it. Uh, you plug it in, you're ready to go. So go ahead and go to your command prompt. And we're gonna need to make sure that uh, our PC recognizes our phone, type fast boot devices. Just fast boot devices and hit enter. And if you see a bunch of numbers and letters in fast boot, you know it is, uh, it is, it sees your phone actually. So now what we're gonna need to do is just type in fast boot OEM unlock, OEM lock, sorry, fast boot OEM lock and hit enter. And what that's gonna do is go ahead and lock your bootloader. So you'll see a little uh, message down at the bottom and then all you have to do is type fast boot reboot. Hit enter, it'll go ahead and reboot your Sprint Galaxy Nexus down at the bottom, no more padlock. And there you have it. So that would be how to fully unroot your Samsung Galaxy Nexus from Sprint. Uh, that would be the latest way in the Sprint Galaxy Nexus only. So keep that in mind. Um, but there you have it. So uh, locking your bootloader is not gonna wipe anything. So in case you were wondering there, but uh, that's it. So if you have any questions, just feel free to ask, leave a comment. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.